Greetings, fellow comic heads. It is I, Comic Head 84, coming at you with my top 10 picks for the week of February 20th, New Comic Book Day. That's right. Buckle up. It's time for me to drop some, some hot picks for you. So, yeah, without much further ado, let's just get to it. I will admit that uh, it's not a stacked week for books. So, like, the, I feel like the back half of this list, this list is, like, so-so. And I kind of struggled a little bit to uh, get some books on the list. But the top five, the bottom five of this list is pretty fire. So, yeah. Without any more dicking around, let's just get to number 10. My number 10 pick is... Naomi, number two. I mean, just because I was so pleasantly surprised by issue number one, I was into it. It was cool. This fellow Jamal Campbell can draw uh, really good art, even though this cover isn't necessarily like Stella knocking me out. The interior art will definitely be fire. So make sure you check it out. It's worth a read. Don't sleep. Number nine. Sharky number one. This is from our pal Mark Millar from Millar World. You know, he's doing his thing in the Netflix world. I'm a fan of the guy. I mean, not everything he puts out is is great, but man, the guy really knocks it out the park sometimes. He's just super prolific. Mark Millar puts out content. Uh, and at the rate that he puts it out, he's got a pretty good track record. So Sharky number one, it's about like a space bounty hunter guy with an ice cream truck that got turned into a spaceship and he's rolling with this little 10 year old space kid and they're doing space bounty hunter things. Sounds kind of cool. I'm going to check it out. I think you maybe should too. Sharky number one. Number eight, Zodiac number one, uh, I think like the, the C cover. I'm on a new kick now of getting me some like hot horror looking chick covers. Uh, me getting turned on to Zombie Tramp recently has now put these kind of books on my radar. Smaller, smaller publishing, smaller print run type books with just like spooky looking babes on them. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, this isn't a new phenomenon. I mean, Vampirella has been. Uh, doing her thing for a long time now uh, but I'm just getting into it so yeah Zodiac 1 is gonna be on my radar number seven number seven is a legit book that I'm definitely looking forward to Black Order number four this has been a good read as far as I'm concerned it's I just like that it's it's a book that truly follows villains you know we don't get a lot of that, or we don't get enough of that. Usually when you get like a villain book, it's normally like these gray area villains, like Venom will get his own title, but he's kind of more of an anti-hero. There have been a couple Magneto runs that were pretty cool, no doubt, but he's in like those anti-hero, has a decent moral compass stage of, you know, his career. Black Order, these dudes are straight thugs, killers. There's no moral compass here. So I appreciate that about this book. Uh, and surprisingly, the, the A cover is it? I'm pretty sure it's the A cover. Addie Granoff, Nova, Black Swan, Hot Fire. And surprisingly, the, the Christopher, what is it? John Tyler Christopher cover, which I was really looking forward to, the Black Swan edition, because... You know, the Corvus Glaive and the other guys have been dope. Like those dark kind of uh, big headshot covers have been sick. So I was like, oh, I can't wait for the Black Swan one and the Ebony Ebony Maw one. But I got to say, the, the Black Swan cover, I don't know. It doesn't look that cool. I just don't like the, the angle maybe of it. Maybe I wanted to see her head on. But I'm not really digging that one. Even though I've been collecting these covers... I think I'm gonna go with the A cover because that that Addy Granoff one is is where it's at. So, Black Order number four. 
Number six, uh, Amazing Nightcrawler. Number one, I'm a Nightcrawler fan, man. That cover's looking dope. This is like the Age of X-Men storyline of Nightcrawler, where it's all utopian and everything. And if you're not up to speed on it, that means that this run of Nightcrawler, this universe version of Nightcrawler is him as like a Hollywood movie star. He's like action hero, Tom Cruise type shit, Nightcrawler. So, you know, whatever. That cover is just off the hook. I'm, I think it's an incentive. That's one thing, to be honest, I'm not clear about when I'm pulling these covers is I'm not sure exactly what the ratio is on this, but something tells me what Marvel, this is like the dopest of the three covers that I saw for this book. So it's probably like a 1 in 25, 1 in 50. So whatever. This is the fam variant. Hopefully they give us some, some fam pricing on it and make it like a 1 in 10. But we'll see. <laughs> this brings us to the halfway point of the list. And you know what that means. It's going to be the pass books for February 22nd. February 20th. First up on the pass books is DC's high level number one you know they're starting out this new series it's like some sci-fi stuff but as I'm reading the solicitation for it they they let us know that this book don't miss the series from writer Rob Sheridan who's the co-creator of the Nine Inch Nails groundbreaking Gear Zero alternate reality game if you gotta give me that as the dude's credentials, who's writing this book, you gotta. That's his credentials. He made a VR game with Trent Reznor. I don't know, man. Uh, I'm probably gonna pass on that. <laughs> uh, next one, Hulk Vereens. Hulk Vereens number one. I'm gonna pass on that. Why? That's a fucking stupid name for a book. How's that? <laughs> And I didn't read Weapon H, so I don't even know if that's good or not, but... Nah. Hulk Vereens? Nah. Uh, <laughs> let's get back to the good stuff. Number five. Avengers number 15. Look at that Captain Marvel cover. That thing is pretty sweet. You got Carol Danvers sitting on the stoop with the little girl. I like the, the camera angle looking down on it. I like the color palette. I like... You know, I'm, maybe I'm not completely clear on what Captain Marvel's color uh, power set is, but she's doing like a little jubilee thing where she's making a little firework. It looks cool. So yeah, Avengers 15, this variant. I don't know if that's the incentive one either, but if it's affordable, I'm grabbing it. Number, number four on the list, Old Man Quill number two. Oh yes, I had high hopes for it because my boy Ethan Sachs, who wrote Old Man Hawkeye, is working on this book, and issue number one did not disappoint. Uh, if you did not pick up Old Man Quill number one, time to catch up, dude. You got to catch up on it in time to grab Old Man Quill number two because you're going to want to stay up to speed on this book. It's legit. Number three. Number three, we have Return of Wolverine. Uh, number one, I don't know. Return of Wolverine book with, again, Addy Granoff. Making the list yet again. Look at this thing. Addy Granoff motorcycle cover of Wolverine dragging the claws on the ground. One thing I know is I'm a sucker for superheroes on motorcycles. Like, it just always makes them look badass. Wolverine on a motorcycle. Give me Batman on a motorcycle, badass. Batgirl on a motorcycle, badass. Needless to say, Ghost Rider, motorcycle, badass. Captain America on a motorcycle, is super badass. So, you know, like I said, this one's a no-brainer. This one's got to be an incentive variant. Hopefully it's not something crazy like a 1 in 50, I don't know, but... Definitely on your boy's radar. <laughs> top two. Top two, I couldn't... It's like 1A, 1B. Because 
I couldn't even pick which one was number one because I love these two covers so much. But what I went with was coming in at number two, Nightwing number 57. I think this is the B cover. Look at that. Look at that thing. Great Nightcrawler, uh, Nightcrawler, Nightwing. Great Nightwing art. Got a little gargoyle behind him, an eagle gargoyle, which is cool. Nightwing, Robin, you know, he's a bird-centric hero. You got the eagle uh, gargoyle at his side. And I love how, you know, they intentionally place the wings like that. So it kind of looks like your boy Nightwing is standing on the rooftop with kind of like a set of wings coming off his back. Like he's the, the angel of that city, the guardian angel of Bloodhaven. I think he's still in Bloodhaven. Dope. Maybe I'm looking too much into that, but that's what I see when that cover and it knocked my socks off. Even though I've been on a little hiatus reading Nightwing, ever since he got popped in the head and he like doesn't know who he is, I've been a little lukewarm on it. I've just been keeping that book, that title on ice until I feel like it comes back around. But when I read the solicitation for it, it says that the Joker's daughter is going to be in the mix on this one. I like that idea. Almost like the two offspring of Batman and Joker. You know, Nightwing versus Joker's daughter. I'm kind of into that. But they still refer to him as Rick Grayson. Um, they still refer to him as, as Rick Grayson in it, which kind of concerns me. I mean, why you calling him Rick? I want that dick. Hold on. That didn't come out right. Next. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Number one <laughs> is Venom. Venom number 11, the Gibbons cover, the Dave Gibbons cover. Oh my God. I love me some Watchmen. Watchmen is my sh jam. And this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this before of a cover swipe of Watchmen. Not only a cover swipe of Watchmen, a Marvel book. This is a Marvel title. Swiping Watchmen. Poof, mind blown. Crazy. The Venom face. Dude, this is crazy. I think it's just like a... I think it's a cover price variant. But I'm not... Again, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. But whatever this one is, I'm going to pay it. I want it. It will be mine. Venom number 11, Dave Gibbons variant, Be There or Be Square, that's the list, that's your boy Comic Head's top 10 picks, I appreciate you stopping by, your company was appreciated and noticed, and until next time, uh, you know, I'll see you later. <laughs>